Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ella, and my channel is called This and That. Well, today we're on a little field trip and brought you to the little town of Wellston. Um, the population here is a little over 5,000, and um, it has some interesting history. The town was founded by a gentleman named Harvey Wells. Mr. Wells conducted a blast furnace back in 1874, and the town was incorporated in 1876. Wellston flourished for several years on the, furn on the furnace and local mining industries, but most of most of the resources have now been deployed, depleted. In April of 1884, an article was published in the Wellston Argus that stated, No mineral reason, region in Ohio or in the nation compared with Wellston's and its surrounding area with the quality of minerals of coal and iron. Um, right now, um, I'm going to take you and show you where Mr. Wells lived um, from the time he moved here and till he died. And um, then we'll go see some other sites in this town. I'll be right back. Here is a sign with information about Mr. Wells. You can pause the video to read it. And this is Mr. Wells' house. They are renovating it so they can... Um, start doing tours to the house and I think that would be neat now we are at what used to be the main grocery store in Wellston and it used to be a Kroger store but since then they have taken it out now the only store they have here is called Piggly Wiggly um, I was sad it was sad to hear that they took Kroger's away because now you either shop at Piggly Wiggly or you have to go all the way to Jackson to shop at the Kroger in Jackson or Walmart. Now we're on Ohio Avenue in Wellston. I remember when this town used to have all these storefronts and they uh, were five and dime stores and everything. And now they're just empty buildings. And, you know, they're trying to bring it back. But it's just modern society has ruined the small towns. Big cities have ruined the small towns. And it's sad. Over here is the movie theater. Now, I was researching this movie theater, and somebody just bought this movie theater, and they're trying to renovate it to open it back up. But I remember back in the 70s and 80s, I would come down here to see my grandmother, and my mom would give me $5, and for $5, I could go in watch a movie, get a bucket of popcorn, one of the big buckets, and also a drink and still have change left. I, To me, that's amazing compared to the prices of today. But this is what this little town has come to. Boarded up storefronts. But some of them are trying to come back. Now, right now, we are going by the um, Veterans Memorial Park. 
um, they call it a park, I call it a divider in the highway. Um, this is um, just last week or the week before they had um, a festival here honoring the 150 uh, years of community and they actually shot off this cannon. I thought that was really too bad I missed it. I uh, didn't realize that it was going on or I would have came over here and filmed because I think that and that's the police station But I think that it's amazing how things just work. Sorry, I'm on a bumpy road. It's like a gravel driveway, like a gravel road in the middle of town. Now we're coming out on to um, Pennsylvania Avenue. This is the main drag through um, Wellston. When I was a teenager and I would come down and visit my grandmother, we would, on Friday and Saturday nights, everybody, would, all their friends and everything would get together and they would do what they call cruising. They would just cruise up and down this main drag. It's It sounds funny now with the price of gas and everything. But back then, it was, it was something to do in a small town on a Friday and Saturday night. And of course, nowadays, ain't no place in America that don't have dollar stores, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. And what I think is funny is they're right across from each other. The Dollar Tree and Dollar General are right across from each other. It's like, let's have a little... Uh, competition. This empty field used to be the high school and they tore it down and built a new high school. Now up here this dairy corner it has been here as long as I can remember because it's been here ever since we I've been coming down here to see my grandparents when they moved down here in 1973 that dairy corner has been there and it's kind of funny because they sell the best Jackson County veals now we are going to the Jim Beverage Company. Um, they, uh, they were started in the, um, in an old garage by two gentlemen. They bottle, they bottle ski, diet ski, cherry ski, tropical ski, double cola, jumbo orange, and Jim Red Cream so Jim Cream Soda. Um, they employ today. They employ twelve people, and they ship 
they ship to eight counties in Ohio. Let y'all get better look. Um, they uh, they send um, to eight counties in Ohio, and it's it. The gym bottling company was started in 1923 when Will Horn and Harvey Mallory started in an old garage. And it's still going today. And the owners today are descendants of the original owners. Now we're at General Mills. General Mills is Wellston's largest employer. It employs over a thousand people that live in Wellston. Um, it used to be it used to be Pillsbury. Now it's General Mills. They at this General Mills they produce they make Tino's Pizza and pizza rolls and it is one of General Mills's largest plants hi guys we are now at Buckeye Furnace and we're waiting on the museum to open so we can go in and check it out and learn all about the furnace um, you see the smokestacks up there and this is what the outside of the building looks like. I don't know too much about how this furnace works. But um, when we get in the museum, we'll figure it out. It's so quiet and so peaceful. Look, this all this surrounds this furnace. This furnace no longer is in service. They use it as a historical site. This must be where where the ashes would come. It's pretty neat, actually. When I was younger, when I was a kid, and we come down here, you would still find coal laying in the pit. But that's been many, many years ago, so I don't think now there's any coal left. Just looks like a dirt floor. This is called Labor at Charcoal Iron Furnaces.
This is Casty. This is pretty neat, people. scary back in there so yeah we're just waiting on the museum to open oh it might be open looks like the door is open <laughs> 